Hello, and welcome to Manners Matter, the informative Zoom for parents of children birth to three years. I'm Diana Oler, School Readiness Coach. Manners are a true reflection of our character, and we use comments like, good day, please, thank you, sorry, and excuse me. Teaching Manners. Early on, babies learn about cause and effect. How we interact with others is a learning opportunity by learning what happens as a result of how we treat others. This is the beginning of experiencing empathy. Manners and discipline, some strategies. Praise goes a long way in reinforcing a behavior. Praise your child when they use good manners. Catching them using their good manners and praising them will create brain connections and these behaviors will be repeated. Also, remind yourself to keep behavior expectations age appropriate. Teaching manners. First, stick with the basics. It takes time for children to learn to say please and thank you. Encourage your child to say these words as a first step towards politeness and move on from there. Teaching manner second, practice what you preach. As you probably know by now, kids are always watching, listening, and learning from us, especially when we least expect it. The best way to encourage your child to behave nicely is to model good manners yourself. Say please and thank you, hold doors for others, refrain from interrupting, and exhibit whatever other behaviors you would like your child to emulate. Teaching Manners Third Accentuate the positive. Rather than scolding when your child forgets her manners, pour on the praise when she's behaving appropriately. Tell her that she seems so grown up when she says please and thank you, and that people appreciate it. While it's disappointing when our kids are rude to others, Blowing up about it could cause your child to resist your efforts to teach considerate behavior. You want your children to exert their independence by showing off good manners, not by refusing to use them. Teaching manners finally. Be consistent. As soon as your child is usually saying please and thank you at home, also make that your expectation in public. Kids like consistency, and a rule that applies only to certain situations will be confusing and become difficult to enforce. What manners to teach for babies zero to one years? Politeness in speech. Modulate your tone when you speak to your baby and use social comments such as please and thank you when sp speaking directly to them or in conversations in their presence. Your example will guide them as they learn to speak. Nice touch. Gently direct your baby on how to treat parents, siblings, and pets. Teach baby not to grab at someone's face or hair by physically moving their hand and demonstrating a soft stroke on a dog's back or by rubbing their fingers across your hair. This will teach them limits and introduce the concept of cause and effect in relation to their actions. Respect for others. Practice well-mannered activities in front of your baby, such as holding the door for someone, saying excuse me when you bump into them, or picking something up after you drop it. Give commentary to your baby on what you just did and why. They register this in their minds. Babies can learn what is appropriate. When the doorbell rings, it's time to go to the door. The subtle cues of listening, watching, and acting are being put together piece by piece by young children and babies. What manners to teach for a toddler age two to three years? A toddler's grasp on language develops and they begin to move around more. You can begin to practice good manners with them. But during these years, parents must realize that manners are taught, 
not inherent, and it will take time for the lessons to become ingrained. So repeat, repeat, repeat. At this age, play is still not always interactive, but parents can start to remind children to respect others' space, not grab, not hit. Essentially, this is the time of play nice, says Dr. Jennifer Hartstein, a child psychologist from Manhattan, and she stresses parents need to be hands-on during this time as these concepts are still difficult to understand. What manners to teach them? Sharing. Hartstein recommends saying to children, be gentle and we have to share, while taking away the fought over toy. Politeness. Practice saying please and thank you, but expect to say it a lot before they get it. Cleanliness. If you don't want to clean up, the tendency is to do it for them, Hartstein says but they have to be encouraged to help. And another activity should not be started until the first one is cleaned up. Another way to reinforce the manners your child has learned is by reading picture books together. Manners help children to succeed in school and in life. So good manners matter. We hope this information is helpful to understand why manners matter. You can contact Paola Correra, our family link, at 720-767-2885 if you have questions regarding this presentation. Join us at the live Zoom Q&A where we will talk about your topics of interest presented in the Zoom. Thank you and have a great day.